Hello everybody, Swan here and today we're gonna be playing uh, Child of Light for the PS4 uh, which has been, it's a game developed by, um, by Ubisoft which I think, I think that's a French company mm, I'm saying that because uh, I am actually uh, I'm actually French and I'm just gonna go casual because I'm actually French and there is really 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 few uh, good video games that are French. Child, tuck yourself in bed Ooh. and let me tell a story That's... of Lemuria, a long lost that kingdom is very loud. and a girl born for glory. But I'm just gonna... In Austria was a crown land ruled by a duke. Aurora right, okay. was his daughter. Child of a duchess mysterious, beloved by her father. He raised the girl alone, they were rarely apart, till the duke felt lonely and misplaced his heart. It was the Great Friday before Easter 1895. Players performed for the duke, his new bride at his side. That night Aurora went to sleep, the fire burned down low. She caught a chill that spread. Her skin was cold as snow. At dawn they found her, vacant. Aurora's light gone out. Her father wept and pleaded, but there could be no doubt. For all intents and purposes, Aurora was dead. And yet, once upon a time, she awoke in a strange land instead. So as you probably have noticed, uh, the whole game rhymes, which is absolutely awesome, I think. And uh, even though that's a French game, actually the writing is much, much better in English. Uh, so we're gonna keep playing with this setting. And so yeah, we are playing Aurora, which is this uh, nice little redhead girl who was a princess and apparently died but at the same time woke up somewhere and now lives again Ubisoft Montreal so yeah that they are French Canadian that's why the English uh, writing is so good and uh, Ubisoft I think is one of the few uh, French companies that are making video games and honestly they're not that good like I think that the girl and the firefly I think that a uh, child of light might be actually uh, one of their best if not their best I think they also made Rayman that was quite all right but they absolutely ruined uh, Hero 6 uh, I remember uh, I bought it and then I, um, I, I bought it on Steam and uh, it was quite shitty because you had to be uh, connected uh, on the on the Uplay platform that was super laggy and got you disconnected all the time uh, in order to play just to play the game even not online you couldn't play if you were not online and the other thing was that I remember I I bought it when the game came out because I've always been a huge fan of Heroes of Might and Magic or Might and Magic Heroes um, and so, right to the old monastery, and so I just bought it when it went out like for 60 euros or something like this and uh, I just like, you know, registered on the UB platform or, or something and uh, they sent me uh, like a, confirm a confirmation uh, email on the, my um, uh, on my uh, previous email so anyway um, I try to, to you know to confirm uh, the create the setting the creation of my on my account and I could never do that because apparently uh, my account had been hacked and um, and um, basically like the provider that I used that was a shitty one I think that was AOL or something like this uh, and uh, who spoke I did check the dew from your eyes 
uh, and yeah, so basically I, I got pretty much fucked because I could never uh, open this uh, mail again because they asked me for a security setting that I had set up like 12 years ago and I could never rem remember it. Uh, I don't even know if I had set this up and it, my account was just like frozen and there were nothing, absolutely nothing that I could do uh, to like just, you know, cancel this account and try to reinstall the, 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 the uh, just try to relink the, um, the, the purchase of the game with another account. Uh, even though I just bought it on Steam and I was playing connected on Steam, uh, the, the UB platform would not uh, consider that I was uh, legitimately connected, so I just never played it. I played, I think, like one or two games and then that happened and, uh, and then I was fucked. So yeah, that's, that's Ubisoft. And the worst thing is that the game wasn't even that good. It was just pretty boring. The cutscenes were ridiculous and uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. So that's it for Ubisoft. They also made like adaptations of game during the Super Nintendo era, uh, which were, I think that was Tintin or Asterisk, uh, like French comic books uh, that they um, adapted. And the remarkable thing about this game were that uh, they were uh, extremely well animated and they were super nice but the difficulty was just ridiculous and that was just the game were broken from this, this from the difficulty all right but thankfully this game is not like this it's a beautiful game great storytelling great dialogue and the artwork is amazing uh, I don't know if you can tell but all this illustration or done, I think by uh, I think that's watercolor and it's just like you know paper that has been scanned and and they put it together and uh, animated it and that's really really cool looking I think. I sucked around a translucent sphere, clear as glass. The answer, Sir Firefly, Sir Firefly, ignite your here, your your rear. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I've completely lost my English. Whoa, I barely know you. Do it and I'll show you. Isn't that cute? The Treceptor, a shadow cast. Oh, we have to match the symbols fast. That's cute. All right. So first symbol. Jesus, that's one. I am being very, very slow. That's two. And... Jesus. Did I run out? <laughs> oh shit, I'm really, really bad. There we are. Opening the tree door, I guess. So Firefly, our path is near. But you would put a door here. It's a good question. Firefly? Who was she, I wonder? Remove the sword under. Who spoke? <gasps> Some sort of ghost? The lady of the forest, I'm sure of this. So yeah, there, there is really like, really nice, uh, you know, like Grim Tales uh, feel to this game. And it's really, it's really unique in that way. Ooh, and th there we are. We have a first monster. And that will give me the occasion to present you the the, um, the fight system, which is quite unique, I must say. It's basically like a traditional uh, RP turn-based RPG. But the only thing is that, as you can see, right underneath, uh, on the on the bottom of the screen, there is like this um, weight and cast uh, bar. Uh, that kind of reminds me of the ATB from uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, but the main difference is that 
uh, if you get hit while your character is in, bit, is in the cast uh, part of the, the bar, you, um, you are pushed back, like your action gets interrupted and then you have to wait before you can try to uh, cast uh, another attack. And so yeah, that's that's pretty much the only um, really um, interesting thing that the that the fighting system has to offer. But that's quite uh, that's quite alright, I think. There we are, and also like there is these little uh, branches on the bottom of the screen, like left and right. And with it, you can collect uh, energy for the little firefly that's called Ignite. Ignite. And uh, with it, you can slow the um, the the enemy gauge, action gauge that uh, fills up. So that's also a pretty neat thing that, as you multitask, uh, even though that's not really really complicated. All right, so I got new skill, and here is the the skill tree for Aurora, which is uh, which is the main protagonist. So you have Starlight, which is a kind of cheap uh, cheap but little less powerful than Light Ray, and uh, that can touch uh, all enemies uh, quite faster and we have another path that's focused on the um, on the physical attacks uh, allow you to upgrade your basic your basic attack and having a skill that allows you to uh, attack all character uh, all creatures and then we have like the heavy kind of heavy magic uh, path which is the one that I'm gonna use because it also has counter attack and I want to kind of mix between um, physical attack and uh, heavy heavy magic attack so that's that's where I'm gonna head at right now all right let me keep our progression I really Ooh, that's really this. It's uh, really uh, you know like Disney uh, Disney style of evil stepmother right there. All right. Well, guys, uh, that's it for the introduction uh, of Child of Light. I hope you enjoyed this uh, new series, and uh, I think I'm gonna keep playing a little bit. Uh, thank you again for watching. If you like the show, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, in, the mean, in, the meanwhile, in the meantime, please take care. Love you. Bye bye.